Hey everybody, welcome back. So, as uh, I frequently do, I have my uh, sweet pea here uh, helping me with today's lesson. Do you like maps? She's never sure. Um, I think what she likes is that the computer gets warm. So, today's lesson, we're going to talk about uh, probably the second most useful general purpose data structure that we'll talk about this semester, um, which is called a map. So, one of my goals is to prepare you to move on to computer science and learn more sophisticated things. But one of my goals is also to make sure that you have the tools that you need to change the world um, as soon as possible, because there's a lot of things out there that could use some fixing. Um, and so one of the tools that I'm going to put into your tool belt today uh, that you will use again and again and again is this particular general, general purpose data structure. We find this in a variety of different programming languages. And it turns out to be incredibly useful to solve problems, including some that you're going to have uh, right about uh, the time that you start working on the next part of the MP. So we're going to talk about maps. We're going to show you what they are. We're going to get comfortable starting to use them to solve some problems. We have some homework problems queued up for you to work on maps. But we're also going to take the opportunity to show you a little bit under the hood. Since this is a course on computer science, we want to not just know how to use things, but also a little bit about why they work the way they do. And this is a chance for us to connect back with yesterday's lesson on hashing because it turns out that hash code plays a big role today. So welcome back. I'm glad you're here. I uh, hope midterm wasn't too rough for you. Uh, you're not alone. We're going to get through this together. We have a really wonderful um, you know, month, month and a half left together where we're going to learn some fun things. Uh, today's one of those days. So hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I will see you at the bottom.